black magic. That should do it. Now for the candles. Uh, we need to surround the pentagram. How about this? Come back! We must talk! Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once! Uh oh. Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon thee! Damn it! Oh, that's what caused the fire. Fire! In here, quickly! The flames! Dash the flames! I did not expect that. Oh, come on. Follow this guy. This is not good. Can we not be safe there for a second? Echidna is keeping us alive here. Oh, here we go. Smoking. Oh, okay, so it's gonna be his. Drained to the last drop. Probably not right. A knife covered in blood. Oh, he's holding a. Uh, so okay. he got the scars on his shoulders that winter. So that's how he whiled away the long winter evenings. The knife. Probably not right. Probably not right. No, we're missing something else. This is what he'd be holding. Mm -hmm. The marriage, marriage contract. contract between Iris and Olgierd. Her father must have been holding the contract. Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed. That you shall heed her counsel and requests, and get to the point, father. 
My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage oh. null and void. What? You vowed to remain with me till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. <laughs> you shall stay here forever. Enough. You will not command us. You will. Uh oh. Oh my Father. God. Father. No. Servant. Take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. Now what? Die. Then Von Everick ceased to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Yeah, this broke Let's him, I think. Upstairs. This thing. I remember. We spent much time together here, the three of us. The bear. In silence. We'll take our places. The same as then. You do the rest. Large bowl, bowl small bowl. Soup, maybe. Claw scratches. Uh, what, this is the cat that's here? Probably small there we bowl? Go. Yeah. Animal hair. I see. Big bowl for the dog. This was yours. Single place setting. No others on the table. Look at the caretaker. What? Probably he, not right. He needs to hold something. Here we go. Bringing Butter. in the food. Hmm. Perfect match. You actually ate from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not <laughs> animals. Of course. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and that. cat keep you company. This one will protect you. Care These are the all house. being no summoned by happens. him. Like, Before I, I didn't think the caretaker would have been a result of him, of but... Yours. I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Ogird. I want you out of my sight. Jeez. It's heavy, like... Olgird von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. What the hell would that be? Okay, we can't meditate, but looks like that helps us. My dearest wife, 
Letters from Old Geard to Iris, where I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy void grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you with her. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and remember but the good times. Old what? It's a little different from the letter we read of his. Oh god, no. There's three of them. There's more than three of them. What? They're all him. Oh, come on. Whoa, Jesus. Try and just keep one here. Don't hit the other ones. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I don't know if they all have different moves or... Motherfucker. I think I can... If I can just dodge that... Where is it? No! Why? Coming over there, you shitting me? You won't live happily ever after. I'm not totally under that delusion, no. Saw that coming. You are closer. Holy shit. Oh, 
Hold up. Jeez, this is insane. Can we repair? Because... That's gonna have to do. We could probably be wearing better armor, that's for sure. Shit! Oh god. Holy fuck, holy fuck. You one day the delusion, you'll complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. That didn't work out like I planned. done it you're not him wait I want to talk not here not in this place then where I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird. For Olgird. <laughs> I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. And I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. It's understandable. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. 
When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Well... Your husband's got a powerful enemy, Gontaro Dim. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Okay, you are familiar. Who is he, and how did he step into your lives? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? <laughs> Your husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate, because at heart he's unhappy. At heart he is stone, so nothing has changed. Not exactly. And did... Did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much, but I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift. Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. A friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest. If I take the rose, you might cease to exist. As might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? Nobody knows. I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer. But I fear there will be cold and darkness until... there is nothing at all. God. That's tough, man, because we take the rose. She could cease to exist, probably, most likely. But is she really even existing now? No, she's in this painting. It's like a different world. I need the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Olgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. I shall give you the rose. She, I'm assuming she gives it to us. Either Thank way. you, stranger, for freeing us. 
Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Seek glass salvation in broken. glass that can't be broken. So long. The hell does that mean? I'll remember you, Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Farewell. Wow. That was wild. How can we get out of here though? Winds howling. Yeah, it is. I'm not going to be able to go... Oh, maybe. Can you still have access to the house? Yeah, we do. It's not really anything we need in here, but... The front's shut completely here we go so how is oh damn going to fit into all of this now he was summoned by them um Apparently very dangerous, which we obviously had known. She is now ceasing to exist. We do have the rose. I'm assuming, truthfully, that she would give it to us either way, even if we said, told her we didn't need it. Um, but now, what's going to be interesting is how Olga was saying that if we found it, then he would be no more, essentially. I'm not even, we're not even sure, like, what does that mean? It's definitely, um, it's definitely bizarre. I feel like we should switch back to our regular gear for now. I still wouldn't mind trying out the shovel if we do have to fight somebody, but... You'll choke to death on three pounds of steam. That milk guardian... Oh, I... Two points, and be quick about it. Oh, please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up, and Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draft. 